All right, what's going on guys? Um, today I'm gonna to talk about how to set up the CTR software, which I talked about yesterday, and do not get clapped, all right? So I think a lot of people are pretty aggressive with how they set it up, but this is how I do it. It's not exactly the right way. It's not like the best way, but it's my way and it's working right now for me. All right, so if you guys don't mind, um, comment CTR software for the YouTube algorithm. If you appreciate me doing these tutorials, like step-by-steppers, um, typically I think I add these into the um, SOP, but you know, just gotta get people in, gotta get people in. Um, gonna be eating some creatine for the next couple minutes and reporting my numbers from the day before, so. Can't handle it, please skip on ahead. All right, let's go. Cool, so yesterday we did only about 2.9K in total revenue. That's down $200 from the day before. Amazon at 11.34, Mediavine at 134, and OnlyFans coming in at a high of nearly $1,700. OnlyFans, man, I'm so glad I did it. Aren't you, these are like the types of things where this is why I spread like cast a wide net because when I first started doing the OnlyFans thing, Amazon was at like 10K a day. But I'm now I'm so glad I did it because it's like the things propping me up, you know? Just just a, just something to consider in the future if you're looking at opportunities and why I personally don't head down and focus on one specific thing. All right, um, let's look at the granular numbers. All right, so yesterday, order revenue 21K. Very low, actually, very, very low. Clicks, yeah, it's about right. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll keep you guys posted. Um, I'm testing a couple things. Very excited. Yeah, actually, very exciting. And then on to Levanta. We're at a, only $100 yesterday. We were on the come up, but um, yeah, I think there is, we're going through some Google update right now, but we'll, we'll keep you guys posted. Anyways, let's talk about today's episode. So if you guys want to follow along, just sign up for the first link in the description and then follow along. Follow along. Uh, you guys sent the sheet. Today's episode 213. And yeah, let's get it going. Cool. So I think the cliff notes are just use SERP Empire, go easy on the searches per day, and make it so the ratio matches. I was going to do, um, from the beginning of the video, as I talked about, I was going to do a step by step, but this is one of the only tactics that are working. So maybe I won't go too granular into the details. But what I do want to talk about is um, setting up the number of searches per day. So let me show you guys what that looks like. So after you add a new country, you know, you can just set US, and then add new country. And I wouldn't recommend using the keyword auto discovery. And then you're, you're asked to add a bunch of keywords, you know, like ASDF, 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 and number of searches per day. I'm going to only talk about that today, because I don't want to go too much into details. But yeah, what, what I typically do is if you have a target URL that you want to go after, let's say I want to go after indexy.com slash niche edits. I'm not doing that. So don't clap me, Google. Um, I wouldn't do that. Um, so let's say, you know, I used to be number one. Now we're position 14. How do I get back up there? Right? So what I do is I throw in the, um, throw in my URL onto Ahrefs or something similar. Um, typically it's sort by traffic, right? But what you do is you sort, sort by volume, what I like to do. I export it. And then you put it into sheets. I'm just delete this real quick. And then you just divide it by 30. Each one divide by 30, right? And then divide by 30. Boom. And then I like to do 10% of that just to be... 10% of this. So right now, this is, if there's a keyword with search volume 800, the number of searches per day is roughly 26. But you're not trying to replicate the amount of searches per day, right? So let's just put another like multiplier on that and divide by 10. That's it. 
So what I would do is literally put keywords in. So first one, as an example, niche edits, number of searches, 2.6. And the beautiful thing is you can actually do like decimals. All right. And it'll, it'll, it'll work itself out, you know, stuff like this. Does that make sense? I hope it does. Um, but if you guys have any questions, let me know. Cause I think this is the hardest part setting up like the number of searches a day. And I think if you do 10% of what is, uh, what the actual search volume is, the total volume will only go up to like 880, but then your click through rates will go through the roof. That's what I think. Um, if you want to be even more conservative, make divide by 20 instead. You know, it's not, it's not that bad. It's just, just it depends on how aggressive you want to go. And I think the lower the search volume, the less aggressive you should be. So honestly, I might even go like niche edits. I would go divide by 20, maybe the best niche edits because they're under 500 search searches. I might even go by divide by 30. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, so th just, just be more conservative. You don't want to get clapped. These are your main sites. I like to show how I'm super aggressive with my tactics. I got clapped left and right, but you know, I'm trying to take it easy now. I'm not trying, not trying to scrap with Google no more. All right. Um, but yeah, let's, uh, if you guys like today's episode, comment CTR software for the YouTube algorithm, and I'll answer some questions from the day before now. All right. Mo asked productivity questions. Which one, which of your multiple businesses is the easiest to run and manage and why easiest to run in? Mm. Partnerships are pretty easy. It's like standard SOP and it's done. Honestly, nothing I'm running right now is hard. Hardest is probably the agency because it requires me actually doing work, which we all know I'm not a fan of. Um, but yeah, it's, yeah, the hardest is definitely agency. Easiest probably anything affiliate, like OnlyFans, partnerships, easy. Google leak, great video as always. We'd like to, we're definitely like a circle. Yeah, okay. Um, let me know if today's helped. Um, let me know what else I can add. I, I, I don't want to be, talk too much about it because I'm not trying to get clapped, all right? Sir Vampire, yep, yeah, thank you very much. The fact that the person that published it was contacted and responded that this was intended to be published is crazy. <laughs> yeah, no way. Appreciate the insights about the Google leak. Thank you very much. Killer video. Thank you very much. The Google leak was wild. <sighs> it really was. Been watching a while. Great video. It made me get, get back into SEO. Thank you very much. Elliot, what's going on? Google leaks that goes hard. Great Google algo leak experiments by SEO guru Jackie Chow. Damn. If I'm known as a guru, you know, that's a feels bad, man. Google leak, thank you very much. Good one, thanks. New to SEO for rank and rent instead of offering a flat one to three K fee. What are your thoughts on fees based on percentage of revenue per conversion? And what tools would someone use to automate and track this? I've seen people talk about this model more for niches with high to um, uh, percentage of revenue. It's hard because, you know, there's some scummy ass motherfuckers out there. They're, they're like trying to not pay you, you know? So you have to keep that in mind. Hence why I like doing the flat. Um, it's just easier, but give it a try. I mean, yeah, I think just give it a try. If you think there's something there, I'm not always right. Um, so I think a lot of the times just give it a try. It's the best answer. Thanks for the comments, Frank, uh, and Copy Samurai, what's going on? Google League for the algo. I owe you an advised subscription upon renting. Yeah, sounds good. I'm on my third website, building for rank and rent already, hoping to brew 100 sites before that year end to see which ranks and which doesn't. Doing a press release and citations for now. Anytime anyone ranks get and get hired, I'll start tiering the citations with Kevin's BBA. Sounds good. Sounds good. Keep us posted. Paulo, what's going on? He said, I'm on the front page for local ranking rent, but I'm not getting any clicks or leads. Any advice? Oof. Hmm. 
Hmm. I think if you're on the front page, I believe you're position seven. So what you should do is you search up, click through rates based off of position. Position seven should be at like three or 4% click through rate. And with this local snack pack in the keyword you're targeting, it'll drop down to even less. So you'll probably be at like the 0.5%. If you want higher click through rates, um, you have to be top three. So at top three, you can expect probably about top three in organic, you could probably expect like 5% click through rate. So five times higher. Um, Paul, what I would do is actually use your front page ranking because you're actually on the front page, you're just position seven to nine. Use that front page ranking to go pitch local SEO and then follow my SOP, get it done. All right, so close someone in the niche in the rank and rent you have already using the position set be like i'll rent it out to you for free and i'll work on local seo for your site just freaking do like 1k a month man 500 to 1k a month just get it started you know get the reps in get it going all right that's it for today guys um sad news my runescape account got hacked yesterday i don't know what happened i'll keep you guys posted um have a great rest of your day and remember to like and subscribe